Hello everyone. I recently purchased a Harbor Breeze remote control uh, ceiling fan module to go with my new ceiling fan. I uh, hooked up the uh, module that goes up inside the ceiling fan and got the remotes ready. Now it comes with two remotes. One that gets hooked up to uh, the wall, which I'll explain later, and one that you can carry around and put it by the bed, and uh, it's quite, quite nice, actually. However, ran into an interesting problem. I got this uh, wall-mounted remote all programmed up, and, and it works. Push the power button, lights go on and off, push the fan button, fan goes on, fan goes off, no problem. Ran into a very interesting problem, however, when I attempted to mount it on the wall. Now it's, this particular model is designed to go right over your existing outlet. So you don't have to screw it to the wall. You can screw it right over the outlet, as you can see, right over the switch. And if you have a cutoff switch on the wall for your fan, you can still get to it if you need to. But I figured out, found out, that when you have it mounted to the wall, it doesn't always work. So I mounted it to the wall. There you go. See? Not working. Pushing the buttons, pushed a couple other buttons. See, it works sometimes. Didn't work. Again, pushing the power button. Light doesn't go on and off. Take it away from the wall, even a little bit away from the wall, and the light goes on. So, let's see if we can figure out a solution to this problem. Okay, so I disassembled the unit and I took a look inside and what I discovered was, this is the control board which seems to have almost all of the control other than battery power which seems to be here and then there's a wire con connecting to it. And I noticed that there was a piece of foam here and I thought, well, maybe that piece of foam... So, oh, so one other thing that was interesting. So the power buttons the buttons here are the light, the time delay light, the off fan, low, medium, and high. And I discovered that it seemed like the high button worked more often than the rest. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, um, but I did notice that there was a piece of foam behind it. And I couldn't figure out any particular reason why there was foam behind it. When you turn it, when you plug it in, it's not really touching or anything. So I thought, well, there's a piece of foam there. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can insulate this a little bit. My theory is that there's uh, metal. The metal box in the wall is somehow interfering with the ability, uh, with the signal's ability uh, to get to get to the fan. So what I decided to do is I took these pieces and I found a piece of old foam that I had. Uh, it's like an insulation piece. Uh, kind of like foam board, and I thought, well, maybe I can insulate this further. So cut out a couple of pieces, and I stuck one in here like that, and I stuck one next to it over here, which I think it was the other way. No, I was right the first time. Like this, and then I realized that it, that's kind of not quite thick enough, so I added another piece of foam right on top of that. Now, with all these pieces of foam, you get a pretty good uh, insulation behind it. So, theory is, this will keep the, uh, keep the thing insulated from the wall. So I stuck this foam right in there like that, and... Let's screw this guy back together. There it is. 
So I screw that guy in. Come over to the other side. Lift off the other screw. Screw that side in. Okay. Now, now some insulation in there. So I'm going to put it back together. And I believe it goes like this. Wire wraps around, plugs in the side right here, plugs in, wire wraps around the edges like that. Snap it back together. It's back together. This piece is just a, uh, a panel connector piece, like that. Snapped in pretty good. Now let me go find the battery. I took it out from the camera. Put the battery. Lights are lighting up, if you can see the light. And we're going to go see if it works better. All right, I am back in the uh, room with the fan. And I've got the unit in my hand right here. And I am going to do some buttons. They still work, which is great. Could turn the fan on. And I'll turn it off. And the moment of truth here, I will put this guy up against the wall like that. Let's see if it works better. Okay, there's the light. And the fan. And at high speed. On and off. Looks good. Problem solved.